six and first on five thieves really cleaning up four people some of them ups workers indicted accused of stealing pricey vacuums and we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars worth yeah so you're probably asking what we asked what are the thieves doing with them we sent kristen vote to find that answer kristen what'd you learn Chris, according to this indictment, the thieves were reselling those vacuums in person and online. It was all part of an elaborate scheme that originated from this building behind me. We caught up with the ringleader this afternoon. That's an expensive machine. People don't realize that the Kirby sells from anywhere from $2,600 to close to $3,000. This man, 28-year-old Sean Burke, worked here at UPS Freight on Industrial Parkway in Cleveland. And these legal documents reveal that for the past several years, this is where Burke swept into his possession. Kirby vacuum cleaners. It's not your average priced vacuum cleaner. And it's well sought off after, especially in Northeast Ohio since they're made here. Fletcher Brown, who owns this Parma Heights vacuum store, tells me he often has people trying to resell Kirby's to him. Some of them even have the serial number filed off, an indicator that it is stolen. Occasionally they'll come in and even try to sell you just the bags themselves. Sources connected to the investigation say Burke stole as many as 100 vacuums with help from a co-worker here. Then he either resold them out of his garage or he put them up for sale on eBay. Two others, a man from Brook Park and another from Parma, are indicted for helping to sell the stolen merchandise online. Hi there. Are you Sean? We found Burke outside of his Cleveland home today, and we wanted to ask him about his run-in with the law, but he refused. UPS tells us Burke and his co-worker, Wilson Perea Jr., are no longer working here, and the company is cooperating with law enforcement on the case. Burke has not been arrested and neither have the three others, and Burke has a previous conviction of failing to comply with police orders. In Cleveland, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.